Hello friends, this video on continuity and differentiability part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 4. So let's take one more example. We have to now examine the continuity of this function at x is equal to 3. Please note, the reason why we are taking examples is to focus that the continuity is defined at a point. Please note, here also if you see we have function and we have a point at which we are discussing continuity. So generally continuity is defined at a point. Maybe a function is continuous at say 10 points and not continuous at 5 points. So there are examples of functions which are continuous at a particular point and this continuous at another point. So here we are talking about, we have to prove that or we have to just find out whether this particular function is continuous at x is equal to 3 or not. Same thing here, we have to prove that limit of fx, x tends to c, c here is 3, is equal to f3. If this is true, that means at point x is equal to 3, this particular function is continuous. So first to get the limit, we have to first prove the limit exists or not. So we will find the left hand limit. If you are having a difficulty in finding left hand limit and right hand limit, Please watch the videos for class 11th, um, continuity videos, there we have discussed in a detailed way how to find the left hand limit and the right hand limit. So let's find left hand limit, that is nothing but limit x tends to 3 minus a number just less than 3 fx. So let me take this guy as nothing but minus 2.99999, a number just less than 3. So this guy is nothing but 2 into minus 2.9999. So this is plus, yeah, plus 2.99. Because just number just less than 3 is plus 2.99. The square minus 1. So this will always become 9 actually. This guy 2.999 square becomes almost 9. 9 into 2 is 18. 18 minus 1 is 70. So this is 2 into 9 minus 1. So that is 17. So my left hand limit for this function is 17. So let me find the right hand limit. Same thing here. This function fx limit extends to 3 plus a number just greater than 3. So I can take a number just greater than 3 as 3.0001 number just greater than 3. So because we are approaching this guy from the right hand side. So that becomes 2 into 3.0000001 square minus 1. So this guy almost becomes 9 minus 1. Okay. Almost I am writing here. Almost. This becomes 17. So if you see the left hand limit and the right hand limit are same. Thus I can say the limit exists. So I can say that limit x is equal to 3 for this guy fx has a value and that value is 70. Now I have to check if that guy is equal to f of 3. So let's find f of 3. f of 3 is nothing but 2 into 3 square minus 1. That is 2 into 9 minus 1. That is 18 minus 1. And that guy is nothing but 70. So if you see, this guys are equal. Since these guys are equal, I can say that limit of fx where x tends to 3 is equal to f of 3. And this is true, that means the function is continuous at x is equal to 3. Please note, at x is equal to 3 is critical here because we talk about continuity of a function at a given We'll take one more example just to prove that the continuity is always defined at a point. Continuity, when we talk about continuity, we talk about a point. And when we say the, the function is continuous in its domain, that means you take any point in the domain, the function is continuous. So we'll discuss that later, but just now understand that continuity is defined at a point. So we have this function x to the power n, and we have to prove that this function is continuous at x is equal to n. 
Same thing here. For a function to be continuous, f of x where x tends to n limit should be equal to f of n. Correct. So let's do this. Let's find the left hand limit. There's nothing but f of x x tends to n minus a number just greater than n. So I can take number has to be f of n minus 0 0.000001 yeah this number is not equal to n but just less than n so this become x to the power n minus 0 0.000001 correct sorry no not this this become n minus 0 0.000001 to the power n and this is almost equal to n to the power n correct so my left hand limit is n to the power n similarly let's find the right hand limit that will be f of x x tends to n plus so this becomes what f of let's say number just greater than 1 just greater than n so that is n plus 0 0 0 0 1 I'll take this number because this guy is just greater than n. This comes out to be n plus 0 0.000001 to the power n. And this value is almost equal to the n to the power n. So what we have seen, the left hand limit and right hand limit are same. So I can say that the limit exists. Please note when I say limit exists, there is no plus or minus sign here. f of x and that value is n to the power n. Now I have to prove that if this guy is equal to f of n, then it is continuous at x equal to n. So let me find f of n. That is nothing but replace x with n, you get n to the power n. So what we have seen that these values are same here. These values are same means limit of f x where x tends to n is equal to f of n. So if this is true, I can say that my function is continuous at x is equal to n. This is what I wanted to prove and I proved. So in all the questions where you have to prove that a function is continuous at a point or not, what we have to do is the first thing is that we have to first find whether the limit exists for that particular point. If limit exists for the particular point, then we have to prove that that particular limit is equal to f of c. c is the point we are talking about. So in this case, c is equal to n. Let's take one more example for the continuity of a, at a point. The different kind of example, we have to find the relation between a and b. So that the function define fx is continuous at x is equal to 3. The same formula we'll use here. Limit of x tends to c f of x if that is equal to f of c that means my function is continuous at x is equal to c. So for limit to exist first my left hand limit should be equal to right hand limit. So let me find left hand limit. Is nothing but limit x tends to c minus that is a number less than 3 of fx. So let me take that value as to be you know 2.99999 because this number is just less than 3. So this is nothing but if you take this we have to use this equation correct because this equation is true for number less than equal to 3. So this becomes a into 2.9999999 plus 1. This is almost equal to 3, almost equal to 3, so I can say this is nothing but 3a plus 1. Correct. Now, let's take the right hand limit. The right hand limit is nothing but f of x, this guy is f of x, x tends to 3 plus, number just greater than 3. So I can take 3.000001 because this number is just greater than 3. So this is nothing but, the moment you take this guy, you can't use this first equation. The cache here is, the equations are different for a just one digit 
or a small minute change in 3. The moment you take a number just greater than 3, you have to use this equation. The moment you take a number just less than 3, you have to use this equation. So let's use this equation now because 3.0001 is anyway greater than 3. So you have to use this equation. This becomes b into 3.00001 plus 3. So this is almost equal to 3b plus 3. Correct. So I have my left hand limit as this guy, right hand limit as this guy. So now the first thing for function to be continuous, the limit exists. For limit exists, left hand limit has to be equal to right hand limit. Correct. So I can say that 3a plus 1 has to be equal to 3b plus 3. So if you solve this, you get 3 into a minus b is equal to 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 or I get a minus b is equal to 2 by 3. So this is the equation or this is the relation which I have between a and b for a limit to exist. That means this is the critical relation that a and b should have for this guy to be continuous. So to check what we can do is we can convert this equation in terms of a or b both then we'll find a value of the limit in terms of a and b and it's better if we do in terms of a because then you can get this f of 3 in terms of a and then we'll see that both are equal. This is not required because anyway we have found the relation but if you want you can do that where you can what you can do is you can convert this guy b into terms of a. So what you get here is b is nothing but a minus 2 by 3 correct so this becomes 3 into a minus 2 by 3 plus 3 so this becomes 3a minus 2 plus 3 that is 3a plus 1 so if you see both are equal to 3a plus 1 right and f of 3 if you find is nothing but is nothing but a into 3 plus 1 that is 3a plus 1 so if you see f of 3 is equal to the limit value. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.